Hello my friends, this is Dev Kumar and today I will show you how to use vSIM software uh, or I will show you how to analyze the circuit using vSIM software, the power simulation software. This is a demo version of vSIM software. You can, this is a paid software. You can download it from uh, internet. Uh, the I am using demo version. This is the demo version is totally free. So let's start. First, you need to open the PCM software and click on a new file and then new. You will get a window like this. Here you will. This is a page and this is another page. Here is almost three page. You can. Uh, put elements over this uh, page and draw the circuit i will show you how to draw under this many elements are there you can put on the diagram from here and also you can go for here elements click on elements and there are all the components you need to there is the symbol source voltage source current source all the voltage source are here current source are here the control like filters and integrator logical module is here and inside the power rlc branches are capacitor inductor resistor all those are here transformer is here Switches like diode, thigh resistor, MOSFET, getting block, all are here. So you can put from here. So let's uh, start uh, making a circuit. So I am making a half wave rectifier using it. So let's first. Uh, a, uh, go for go for source then voltage source and a uh, sign you will get a sign source or ac source from here put i am putting this element on here now you need to uh, change it you can uh, press escape button or you can press here to ch uh, change it i am pressing here select and then you can go for another element and now i am adding a diode switches and then diode i am putting it here on diode and i am putting a resistor over here here there was a resistor i am taking it from here and i need to rotate this who i am because i will parallelly connect it, connect with this source so you can click right click to rotate this like this or you can click here to rotate So let's put it here. Now I will connect uh, the elements. So connecting this, you need a wire. So here is the wire, the pencil sign. Click on here and draw. Here is red line showing. That means it is okay. If is if it is green, then you, there was any problem. You need to correct that. So circuit is complete. Now I will uh, save there a uh, voltage probe. Here is it is a voltage probe to measure the voltage here. And I will I need a 
uh, voltage uh, probe for uh, source. So I'm finding where is it? There is pro and DC voltmeter. Yes, here it is probe and voltage probe. Here is a voltage probe. Uh, for different type of voltage probe, you can go for here. Is voltage probe, AC voltmeter, AC ammeter, all are here. So I am voltage probe node to node. I am taking here it is. Connecting over here. And connecting to the wire. So here it is. The circuit has completed. Now I need to simulate this circuit. So for simulating this circuit, go for simulate and simulation control. Click on there. And you will get a clock like this so for simulating this click on the page where you have connected or you have draw the draw your uh, network so putting it here i am putting it here clicking on there and you will get a window like this the total run time you will select i am selecting 0 0.06 and click on enter close it and if you need to put values on register or the sine wave or whatever you just just double click on them here it is you can see the page a window will open the name peak amplitude frequency i am frequency changing it to 50 name is v1 for displaying click on here and the voltage to 30 click on enter and close it for register i am putting a value on register i am putting 8 ohm here okay. let's run the circuit so go for simulate and run sim view where the simulation control is, uh, is situated, that particular page page circuit will run. So run SimView. Here it is V1. Add. Okay. It is the output voltage. The V1 output voltage is here. It is AC to DC. It has converted. Now the source for source voltage. Click on here for put, uh, plotting another uh, another plot. So V P one add. Click on add and then okay. This is the waveform of the input signal. If you want to plot together these two just 
you can do like this click on both add and ok the two voltages are shown in one graph need to remember only one circuit you can do in one page this is a page and this is another page only one circuit and one clock is there one simulation control is there if you delete this simulation control you need to do all these things from beginning and if you want to do another circuit like this you can select this total circuit like this and you just copy it and then click on paste here is another that particular circuit click if you click to another page it will copy and the name will automatically change here from v1 to it is v2 r1 to r2 now you can change something over here so i am putting a inductor over here and i am deleting this and connecting this inductor to the load in series here it is putting some value on inductor I am putting 0.12 microfarad. Close it. So here it is. Now, if you want to run this, just drag the simulation control to this page, and this circuit will run. Now, run SimView. TP4 add ok and this is the output of this page and this is VP2 the source web here the uh, zero voltage has slightly come, come down because of you can see here here and here because of the those in inductor if you change the value it will go higher 0 0.5 you I am putting now again run sim view if you want to change it You can double click and you can change from here. So, like this, you can do your work. You can plot your input output uh, web from using this software. So, thank you for watching this video. Like if you liked it, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you again.